All right, hey folks, uh, gonna do another guitar tutorial today, but first I'm gonna set the mood and light some candles. Much better. Okay, today we're gonna learn how to play Drop the Guillotine, um, and I chose this riff because it's one of the more fun ones to play. Every time we do a show, I'm still stoked to play this riff. Uh, and it's not too, too hard. Basically, you're just gonna be playing a lot of chords, a lot of simple chords that you would be playing down here, 12 frets up and adding little notes to them. Uh, so I'll play it through and then I'll break it down for you, okay? Okay, so. Basically, you're going to start with an A minor shape, but move it 12 frets up, and uh, you got it there, and then you're going to play around on the high E string between the 12 and the 13th frets, so the E and the F note. Uh, that's the first little bit, and then you kind of pretend you've made an E chord, you know, an E chord, 12 frets up, and you play the bottom four notes of it slide that one up to make it an F. All, like, all your fingers, just move them one fret up. And uh, kind of play around between the 15th and the 13th fret to do that little rundown. And then uh, just make a C, play the notes of a C chord 12 frets up. And then this little rundown goes from the 15th to the 13th fret on the B string to start. And then 14th to 12th on the G string. Finishing off on like a, a kind of C shape again. And then uh, starting on the G, on uh, the G note on the low E string. That's the last little bit. And then you kind of like, if you were making an E minor chord right here, um, play that but take off the ring finger and pinky finger and mute all the other strings. And then move that to an F. So I'll do that really slow. So that's the intro. And the verse is really similar. It's just kind of like a revised version of that riff. So you're gonna start on that A minor again and go. And that's going between the 13th uh, fret of the B string and the 12th fret of the high E string. Make that little uh, bottom half of an E chord again and move it up again. C chord again. Uh, that's that little rundown is 15th fret to 13th fret on the B string and then 14th fret on the G string. And that again. to the pre-chorus um, and you start on the uh, fifth fret of the A string and are kind of making this D7 shape but uh, do this riff so that's uh, fifth fret of the A string fourth fret of the D string second fret of the G string and you're sliding it up on the G string to four then five and then move that up to the eighth fret on the A string same kind of run. And that's the pre-chorus. Um, and then we get to the chorus, which is just chords, but we're kind of playing around with what we were doing before, uh, where you're kind of playing the bottom half of a chord. So if you were making a C chord uh, off the eighth fret of the low E, and then you just played the bottom half of that chord, slide that to E. And uh, 
I do this little thing on the F that's really fun. It's kind of a weird strumming pattern, but it's like. Uh, and then do that again. And this time go down to a D. And uh, do a little pull off from the uh, 12th to 10th fret on the high E string. Um, that's pretty much the whole song. There's a little part where uh, there's that pre chorus run, but it happens uh, like one octave up. Ooh, forgot how to play it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole tune. Uh, hopefully that was in-depth enough for you, um, but it's about as in-depth as I can get. So I hope that was helpful. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good quarantine.